Uh, one of the accomplishments I am proud of during my presidency was being invited to the House of Commons. You see, for a woman from another country to come to Canada, be able to have a voice, be able to present in the House of Commons and ask for support for women in STEM fields, for women to become into more of a leadership roles. Have the possibility, I'm not asking that we have to do it or we should mandate it in a way that is not logical, but have that opportunity, create that possibility that if there is aspiration, they should be able to have a chance. That was an amazing feeling. And I have to tell you, uh, it was a very interesting journey when we, they asked us that we can present at the House of Commons. It was an amazing teamwork between uh, our project manager for Make Possible at the time, Cheryl, and then my mentor, Dr. Maria Issa, and many other team members that we put our presentation together and we were able to actually deliver the way we wanted to deliver. After that, we uh, had to basically host um, one of the ministers, Minister of Status of Women, uh, at our office later. And one of the asks we had was about having a seat at the table when the policies are built, where the policies are made, and that they are impacting women. And we were just not talking about women in a STEM field. We were talking about women in general. I think we were heard. We were invited to join uh, this amazing three-year project, which was called uh, Gender Equality Network Canada. Uh, through Gen C, Gender Equality Network Canada, federal government put together 150 women leaders across the nation together to talk about what are the important aspects of women life in Canada and what are the things we have to consider when we actually put the new policies in place that covered many aspects of women life in Canada, including where we were coming from, from a squeeze's perspective, it was uh, women in STEM fields in science, technology, engineering, and math. And then there were other organizations, they were coming um, from the different aspects of women's life, like uh, poverty, uh, family issues, uh, violence against women, and many other aspects of women's life. And together, we were able, after five uh, national meetings, we were able to, gather, uh, to put together something that the federal government is going to use in the long run. Uh, one thing we learned, though, and it was in many of those conversations, was about the role of men and the role of government and the role of communities. How we can put all of these efforts together, that we can actually create an environment, create a country that women's rights are considered as human rights. You should not actually separate them from each, from each other. And any, anyone, and even maybe non-binary rights are human rights. So we learned so much. I personally learned so much from communicating with all these amazing women that they were in uh, Gender Equality Network. And I'm so happy that I was able to actually do something to return all of the kindness that the Squiz has shown to me by um, presenting a Squiz in there. I'm really grateful.